After several inactive years of tropical impacts in the Atlantic Basin, Hurricane Matthew in October 2016 reminded the Atlantic Basin, particularly the North American continent, that these storms were still lurking around and could strike at any time. With the first part of the year being tremendously quiet around the world, how would 2017 fare in the Atlantic then? Would it continue to be fairly active as it had been in the last year or so, or would it slip back into the quieter pattern that was seen in 2013 and 14? To another episode of Mother Nature Redefines the Laws of Atmospheric Science with Tropical Storm Arlene, which has formed in the Atlantic on this April 20th. Fifteen named storms on the forecast. Eight hurricanes, four majors. My projections for the Atlantic, I'm thinking 12 to 16 named, three to six hurricanes, one to three majors. This is the chances of tropical storm conditions in 2017, uh, which is quite interesting. As you can see, uh, it looks like this year we're really looking at, um, again, Haiti, uh, the Dominican Republic, Cuba, the Bahamas. I've been in shock near enough all day, which is watching this thing blow up very, very rapidly and drop pretty much 20 millibars in six hours. Yeah, this is honestly a very scary situation, um, especially for anybody that had decided to stay on the coast line. Hurricane Harvey was the eighth named storm of the 2017 hurricane season and was the first storm to make a major hurricane landfall in the United States since 2005, ending the longest such gap in United States history. Harvey is also tied for the fourth strongest hurricane landfall along the coast of Texas.
honest, I, this is the most starkest warning or statement I've ever heard come out of the NHC. And this is what they say. Potentially catastrophic Category 5 Hurricane Irma heading toward the Leeward Islands. Preparations should be nearing completion in the easternmost Leeward Islands. And if you haven't done that, well, you're running out of time and you need to do it now. Hurricane Irma was the ninth named storm of the 2017 hurricane season and was the strongest storm to strike any of the Leeward Islands since at least 1780 and the most intense storm recorded on the Lesser Antilles, marginally eclipsing a hurricane in 1825. This is a rapidly intensifying hurricane which could approach category 5 intensity as it passes through the Lesser Antilles and then on to Puerto Rico and the Hispaniola. So with 18 storms it wasn't a quiet season, but not just that, the amount of devastation and damages that occurred in the Caribbean out towards the Western Atlantic were enormous and would still be remembered many years later, even after the busy seasons of 2020 and 21.